you decided to get a website. So you decided to get a website. Well, the first thing I can say is, what took you so darn long? If you have a business or you have an organization, you should have had a website already. But I'm going to let you slide today. This is not my day to be critical of anybody as we celebrate this holiday. Wait a minute. Why is the day a holiday again? This guy, uh, Christopher, Christmas, Christopher or somebody who was a slave trader, uh, he got lost. He guy had so many negatives. Just just a reminder of how many, uh, we have to be more careful of how we select our holidays, who we honor. But anyway, that's another topic for another day. But anyway, I'm working today, have my cup of coffee, and I'm here to bring you some news about website necessities. So you decide to get a website, I'm going to tell you some of the basics you must cover on every website. These are things that every website must have. I don't care if you have a little one pager or if you have a, a, enough information to fill up an encyclopedia. Man, do they still make those anymore? I guess it's Wikipedia. See? See why you got to keep up? Why you have to keep up? Things keep changing. That's why you need a website. You print that brochure, it's obsolete by the time it gets off the press. A website, you can change it the minute you change your mind. So let me give you some basics here. I'm Robert Gatewood, by the way. I have a radio show at Radio One called The Marketing Pulpit. We don't bring, uh, we don't save souls, we save businesses. First thing you need to know about is your domain. That's that www. www. the name of your organization.com. Now, if you haven't already, go ahead and get it. You don't have to have a website to get a domain. That's a misconception. If you think of a company name that you're going to have or an organization, go ahead and register that domain today. You can go to gatewood.co, a little self-promoting here, gatewood.co, and just type in the name of that company. Just type it in, and you will bring up a, um, you're going to bring up a website that looks like this. And you'll see, you can type in your name, and you can tell what, right away whether your name is available. Okay? Once you type in that name, it'll say, not available, it's available, and actually you can go ahead and purchase it while you're there. Okay, so the www.thenameofyourorganization.com. If you can get the .com, that is preferable over these other things, like the .nets and the .biz, the .info, they got a, a .everything now, .picture, .church, uh, .cup of coffee, .microphone. You want the .com, that's still the waterfront, waterfront property when it comes to domain names. So if you can get the .com, get it. Also, if you haven't named your business yet, here's a quick tip. If you have not named your business and you're thinking about what to call it, first go to gatewood.co, type in the name, and see if it's available in the .com. If it's available, grab the domain. You don't have to put up a domain, a website that day. You can hang on to it. It's only like 10 bucks a year. And even if you don't decide to go with that name, you've only invested $10. Also, you can get more than one domain. You can get as many domains as your pocket will allow. Let's go to the next item. The next item is your web hosting. Another one of those areas of confusion. Everybody's saying, what is web hosting? Let me tell you. Every website on the internet has to have a host. Think of it like a mall. You go into the mall, you have all these stores, and but each one has their own little piece of that real estate. Well, a, a website is on a server. You just in a dark room, rack mounted, it's a bunch of computers stacked on top of each other, in other words. And you have a piece of space on that particular server. Most companies don't have a, a dedicated server. You're sharing that server space with other companies. That's why the price is so low. You're going to spend anywhere from 5 to 20 bucks per month to host that website. So when you hire that webmaster and he says, look, we got to have this hosted. And you say, hey, what you talking about, Willis? Well, he's talking about where those files have to be stored. Your files include your photos, the HTML pages, any type of software, anything that makes uh, that comprises or components of that website has to be stored. And then the domain name is pointed to that website through the IP address or the DNS. We call it the domain name server. So first, you need a, you need a domain, a www.thenameofyourorganization.com. You can go to gatewood.co and just type in the name and see if it's available today. Okay. The second thing, you have to have a host. Okay? Now, 
What else do we need for a website? Well, somebody's got to design it. Now, you can design it or you can get a professional to design it. There's all these free, all these companies out here, so we'll give you a, do a website for free. There's nothing free under the sun, including your website. Now, what they're going to do is say, look, we'll give you the free website, but you got to pay us for the host, or we got to pay you to maintain it on our server. Well, heck, I can give you a free house under that premise. I give you a free house, just pay me for the land that it's on. Pay me $1,000 a month for the land, but I'll give you a free house. So really, nothing's free. The other thing, they ask you to build it yourself. Now, they're going to tell you it's going to take about 10 minutes to build this website. I'm going to tell you differently. I'm not saying, I'm not trying to knock on your intellect. You just can't build a good website in 15 to 20 minutes. As a matter of fact, it's, it's going, I've had one person to tell me, I bought one of these 15-minute websites. It's six months later, and I, my website is still not up. Now, you know he's probably having some little, he was probably having some questioning his own intellect abilities because he's saying, wow, they said I can do it in 15 minutes. It's six months later. I still don't have a website. Well, it's not you. These companies are not being truthful. You can't put up a real website for a real business in 15 minutes. As a matter of fact, not even a whole day. You can put up something on the web, but it's not going to count for a website. And your stakeholders your vendors, your employees, your contractors, your suppliers, your invest investors and partners, they're going to see that you took a shortcut with a very vital part of your business and they're not going to take you as seriously. So don't try to do that. This is what you do. You hire a company to build you a CMS website. CMS stands for Con Content Management System website. And you've seen them. They're WordPress, they're Drupal, they're Joomla, they're some of the other platforms and all of your hosting accounts. You might not even know it yet, but your hosting account has these platforms built in. I don't care if you're on one in one you could be on GoDaddy, you can be on Yahoo, you can be on Bulk Register, you can be on Bluehost. They all have a CMS platform built into your existing hosting, hosting account that all you have to do is activate it, but you have to know what you're doing. So you hire a company like mine, Gatewood. We come in and set you up, get everything set up for you, then turn it back over to you so that you can manage it. And once you get the website back, it's just like going into Microsoft Word or something, adding a picture, changing the fonts, editing a page. It becomes very, very, now life gets back to being normal and you're not out here pulling your hair out or thinking you a knucklehead because you can't put up a website in 15 minutes. Okay, so and then of course there's functionality and you have advertising, some of the best, uh, basic advertising for the website. You gotta, gotta drive traffic to it once you put it up. Otherwise it's like building a shoe store in the desert. Nobody's gonna find you. Some of the most popular ways is one, SEO, that's search engine optimization. Get those keywords. Most of these CMS websites have a back end platform where you can build in the C words, your, your, your keywords. And by all means, use the long tail keywords. In other words, don't put in these single words because now you're competing with everybody in the world. If you have a hair salon, you might say hair salon in Northern Virginia or hair salon in Prince George's County, Maryland. That's called a long tail C keyword. That's how people are going to search for your website. Another way, this is a tricky way that it's so simple, but most people don't take advantage of it. Your email account is a very good way of sending traffic to your website. Advertising, ladies and gentlemen, is just about impressions. That's all it is. You've heard all these fancy things about it, but advertising, when you break it down to the basics, is just about impressions. So your email account is a way to send impressions to your business. So instead of using that Gmail account or that Yahoo account, that AOL account, use your G email account at your domain. So if your domain is uh, BetsysPies.com, your email address should be either info or your name at BetsysPies.com. Now, when any somebody, anytime somebody sees that domain name, you have an impression and you're sending somebody to your website. Okay? Those are just a couple of quick ways. There are other ways, but those are the two main ways I suggest. There's also pay-per-click advertising where you pay somebody like Google AdWords. You pay them like on an auction basis how to drive traffic to your website. You go out and bid on the keywords, and then the one with the highest gets on the front page. But those are good ways also. Pay-per-click. Uh, social media, that's always a good way, to good, good way to get people to your site. If you have a Facebook page, a Pinterest, Twitter, Google, LinkedIn, put those, uh, uh, those web addresses on those social media sites and so forth and so on. So to wrap things up, if you don't have a website, get one. If you don't, even if you don't, even if you don't have your website built or not even sure when you're going to buy it,
go ahead today and register that domain name. Go to gatewood.co, just type in the name to see if it's available. That's not gatewood.com, gatewood.co. See if that domain name is available. If it is available and you want it, I don't care if you're gonna make that website 10 years from now. Grab that domain today and you can maintain it at paying just $10 a year and it's yours because once you lose it, some domain broker is gonna buy it and they're gonna sell it to you for 2,000 bucks. So something you could have bought today for $10 could cost you $2,000 tomorrow. I can't emphasize that enough. If you know the name of your business, check today to see if that domain name is available. Also, you can't build a website in 15 minutes. Get a professional company to build it and then have them turn it back over to you and you can update it yourself. Go ahead and make that investment. Nothing in life is free. If you wanna do it right, pay, to pay somebody to do it for you the right way. That's gonna do it for today, folks. You gotta get that website. I am Robert Gatewood. You can find me Friday at the Marketing Pulpit at Radio One. Go to marketingpulpit.com over at Radio One. That's gonna do it for today, and I am out.